On July 8th, the Ivy League is expected to make an announcement on the state of its 2020 football season. If Yale University's 2020 fall semester plan is any indication, there will be no fall football season as Yale is planning to hold the majority of the school's fall semester classes through a virtual students and professors and adjunct stay-at-home platform. There will be some exceptions, but the Yale campus near New Haven, Connecticut, for the most part, will be empty when students are supposed to be on campus in late August and early September. The Ivy League shut down its 2019-2020 Basketball Conference Championship on March 10th as the COVID-19 outbreak started accelerating. Ivy League schools are developing a COVID-19 protocol, but there is a notion if a school is not opening for classes, then there will not be any sports played by that college or university. The current COVID-19 spread is in college football country. South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, Arizona, and California. And that is where big-time schools play to huge crowds every fall. The National Collegiate Athletic Association shut down all sports in March, but the NCAA does not have the same authority when it comes to college football, and there does not seem to be a uniform COVID-19 protocol among the college football conferences. College football players have returned to campuses for so-called voluntary practices, and there have been many players who have tested positive for COVID-19, with Clemson University seeing its program losing about a third of its players to positive testing for the virus. Morehouse College, a Division II football school in Atlanta, Georgia, has decided not to play football this fall. Morehouse College does not have a big TV deal or a huge stadium to fill. The Ivy League as stadiums, but TV is not a concern. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.